Welcome to Amazing Cozumel, exploring the awesome ocean life of Puerto del Abrigo. Today we're going to adventure with the Caribbean Reef Octopus, Spot Fin Porcupine Fish, an underwater lard statue surrounded by Sergeant Major Patanos, reefs with fire coral, colorful sponges, along with many beautiful and diverse Caribbean fish. We'll even visit a huge abandoned ship anchor. Isla Cozumel, the gorgeous Mexican Caribbean. Today's dive will be from Puerto de Abrigo, which is north of Centro, and we'll be exploring southbound along the shore reef in the inner seagrass. We entered from the south of the military base and swam to the port opening. You can also enter from a large hole in the port seawall with careful climbing. And since we're starting from the port opening, here's that huge anchor right in the middle and under of all the boats zooming in and out. It's pretty massive along with the thick ropes still tied to it. This was my favorite find during our exploration. A large lion statue that was laid on its side, discarded to the bottom. I stood the lion up and immediately it was swarmed by Sergeant Major Fish, feeding on the algae that had grown underneath. This made for an amazing view. Now this proud lion stands again, under sparkling clear water, kept company by striped bright yellow patanos and the occasional surgeon fish. And here we are with even more Sergeant Major Fish, aka Patano, about to take a look under this large rock. Anywhere there are large rocks, especially with hollowed out bottoms, there's bound to be some cool fish. A large cool spot fin porcupine fish. With its elongated spherical head, with big round protruding eyes, Porcupine fish are circumglobal, found in tropical and subtropical waters around the world. Their diet is based on sea urchins, gastropods, clams, and crustaceans. And yes, in case of danger, the porcupine fish can inflate itself by swallowing water, in turn raising its spines to deter predators. It also creates a potent neurotoxin in certain parts of its body as an additional defense system. And it looks like this porcupine fish is ready for a swim, heading out towards the seagrass. Speaking of seagrass, here's an awesome Caribbean reef octopus exploring the nearby turtle grass a species of marine seagrass. From up above, it's very hard to see due to its coloration and shape. It appears to be a pile of dark sand, but that's how you spot them, because here, there are no piles of dark sand. The Caribbean Reef Octopus has eight long arms that vary in length and diameter. It's able to change colors and texture to blend into its surroundings. Its color range is large. It can change from crimson to green and from bumpy to smooth. Now we're back along the shore reef to observe some nearby fire corals and the many fish that call them home. Wherever you find corals, especially dense with crevices, you'll find lots of thriving life. Fire corals, like this blade fire coral, are found in the Caribbean Sea in shallow waters. These corals have hair-like processes and stinging cells that detect the presence of zooplankton and help entrap it. The nematosis is discharged and injects venom into the prey, 
all within three milliseconds. If you are not careful around fire curls and rub up against them, you'll end up with a burning sensation, possible blisters, and other complications. You could say these fire quarrels will force conservation on you, at least the no touching part. Also corals are animals, not plants. Even though they permanently attach themselves to structures along or close to the ocean floor. Unlike plants who make their own food, corals have tiny tentacle-like arms that capture food from the water and sweep it into their mouths. You'll also notice the beautiful and diverse fish that are constantly swimming around the coral, like these silver Bermuda chubs, and earlier the many yellow French grunts. Coral reefs are like many cities of life, fish swimming all around, through and under. Now we're going to observe some cool sponges which are also marine animals, not plants. Sponges come in all shapes and sizes and are usually very interesting to see. And they're also usually frequented by many fish. Sponges are multicellular organisms that have bodies full of pores and channels, allowing water to circulate through them. Sponges do not have nervous, digestive, or circulatory systems. Instead, they rely on maintaining a constant water flow through their bodies to maintain food and oxygen and remove waste. And in and out of the frame is a blue tang surgeon fish, feeding off the reef. Blue tang surgeon fish exhibit biofluorescence, that is, when illuminated by blue or ultraviolet light, they re-emit it as green which may assist in communication and camouflage. Wherever you come across corals and sponges, you'll usually see plenty of cool fish, like this green tube sponge, being circled non-stop by Sergeant Major Fish, also known as Pintanos. From Puerto de Abrigo going south, there are plenty of rock clusters, shore reefs, coral and sponge clusters, and fields of seagrass to explore. The best time to view all this cool life is from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. when the sun is overhead and lighting everything up. Now, let's relax to some gorgeous ocean views featuring interesting shaped sponges, the sparkling clear Caribbean ocean, and a giant Caribbean sea anemone with calming background music to set the mood.
you for exploring with me amazing Cozumel and the beautiful ocean life of Puerto de Abrigo. I hope you found value in this experience and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Please subscribe now to catch future videos and share this video in your social media with other ocean life lovers. If you'd like to see even more, check out our website oceanearthgreen.com for videos, pictures, and perspectives of scuba divers, free divers, and snorkelers from around the world. Thanks for watching. See you on the next adventure.